And what I mean by long-term ownership or own is like, don't get this fish if you plan to um, move because it will um, not do well in a new aquarium. So basically what I mean is, if you plan to move soon, wait until you get to the new area, then get Cooley Loach. Because they don't do well with war changes. Uh, n- not war changes, but... Um, war ca- so, like, they don't do well with um, constant different war changes. So, like, what I mean by that is, like, if you put this thing in a, in a like, bag, like a pet store bag to transport it and then put it back in your aquarium. That aquarium is still going to be, um, the bacteria probably will most likely die in it and the fish will be stressed the whole time. So if you do need to move, like let's say you're wanting this fish or, and you need uh, this loach and you need to move definitely Look into gang one after you move. They don't do well pretty much with change. Um, especially if you are moving and you don't have the um, right... You can't provide like the right environment for this fish while you move. Um, if you do need to move though, and this fish has been in your care for a long time, you'll be fine. Um, I'm just not too sure about like moving this fish with uh if you like are getting this fish they tend to not do all of change so if you are move or if you are do something while this fish is getting accustomed to its environment it might not do as well as one that's already accustomed um and that could take a couple weeks to a couple of days depending on how much you change in the aquarium in terms of additional fish. Also, I would probably suggest this would be the last fish you add um, in your tank because they are shy fish and any changes in your aquarium, they will, they could hide more or they could be more skittish depending on the species of fish you get.